Okay, now we're going to change gears slightly and discuss uh, a wonderful concept. It's called a pigeonhole principle. Uh, there's a question over here. Question about the common notation. Yes. Choosing. What does that mean with commas and more than one number at the bottom? It, it means exactly what those expressions mean. That you take the top number and write it as a factorial, then you write each of the numbers in the bottom as a factorial in the denominator. That's all it means. Just, it's just a notational convenience. OK, so our next, our next topic is called the pigeonhole principle. And uh, why? Why is it called it? I don't know. It's just a, a saying. And it makes perfectly good sense this way. It could be called lots of different things. The pigeonhole principle. And don't ask me why people are putting pigeons in holes. It sounds kind of cruel, doesn't it? But uh, if you have to put n plus 1 pigeons into n holes, then you must put some two pigeons into the same hole. Somehow uh, the, the motivation is that what happens if you're trying to give each pigeon its own home? Put this pigeon in this hole, put this pigeon in that hole, put this pigeon in that hole. And you want to spread the pigeons out. But the saying is, if you have more pigeons in holes, you can't do that. You've got, eventually, you've got to put two pigeons in the same hole. And every time this topic comes up, some student says, but can't you put all the pigeons in the same hole? Well, yes, of course you can. Okay. But the saying is that you cannot avoid the outcome that there will be two pigeons in the same hole. That's, that's all it's saying. All right, now, more generally, if m and n are positive integers, and you have to put m plus n times n plus 1 pigeons into n holes, then you have to put m plus 1 pigeons in the same hole. So the original saying is just the second one when m equals 1. It's amazing how much important mathematics somehow begins with this silly pigeonhole principle. 